you have to be patient and you have to really try to enjoy every attempt that you're doing because that's the point of bouldering that's the point of climbing it's to for me it's to have fun and enjoy your progress Yeah, I'm in a flash of V4 today. Hi, what's up, Gado? Welcome to another episode. So in this video, we're going to explore a topic that I always wanted to talk about. So I noticed from personal experience, not everyone who tries climbing will attempt again. So sometimes they just strike once and then that's it. No, hindi na sila babalik ng gym. But other times, like kami ni Bea dito, no, we stayed in the sport. No, in this video, I invited someone who will share her insights regarding what made her stay in climbing and how did she overcome the common challenges if you're a beginner in the sport. Hi Boulder Kada, my name is Bea. I've been climbing for about eight months now. And like a lot of beginners, the first time I tried climbing, I didn't try it. But after some time, I got comfortable and this is So how I got into climbing, um, when I was younger, a lot of my friends were into it and they always brought me along. So I enjoyed it, but I didn't try it. Do you have the observation mo when my friends and I are looking for something to do? I always invite them climbing, but some of them, uh, once they sila going some of them, they want to go again, some of them, um, they na rin. So may differences talaga. Before we continue, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more climbing content. Okay, so let's start the intro. What were your first impressions about the sport? First impressions ko about the sport is number one, it's dangerous because there's no rope, um, there's For no bouldering. harness. This is bouldering. Uh, my first impression of bouldering is that it's dangerous and it requires a lot of upper body strength. So na intimidate talaga ako when I first saw people um, climb the walls. Growing up, I didn't have a sport, um, unlike most of my peers. Before climbing, I did try aerial art, so the things that you see in Greatest Showman, I'm into that. During the pandemic, I really wanted to try climbing because the facilities were open and it looked like something fun to do with my friends and family. So the first time I tried bouldering here in Beehive, um, fun fact, I'm really scared of heights. I think now I still have a bit of fear. I wasn't confident with my arm strength, I wasn't confident with my hand strength. But luckily, there are a lot of routes or problems that are okay and safe for ultimate beginners. And they really teach you how to climb safely. Usually, when a beginner, when I go to the gym, you'll see a lot of strong climbers like those who... Oh yeah. There's still there. So how do oh, no. you deal with it? Like, before, super na insecure ako whenever I'm climbing around intimidating or stronger climbers because I feel like they're watching my mistakes or nakakahiya to make mistakes in front of them. But after getting to know some of them and watching them climb, I learned that even the strong climbers, their goal is to challenge themselves and get better. So they also fall, they also make mistakes, they also celebrate small wins. And um, the more you climb, the more you see that they're also celebrating your small wins. If I make mistakes, sometimes I ask them for help or they offer help. Tapos, na enjoy ko na rin yung progress ko with them. How did you deal with your frustrations when you were starting out? Sometimes, like, you don't feel any progress ilang sessions na, di ba? Ano yung mindset mo pag ganito? I understand that for a lot of beginners or even experienced climbers, nakakagigil talaga yung sport, especially when you want to send a certain problem. Mm. But through time, I learned that you have to be patient and you have to really try to enjoy every attempt that you're doing. Because that's the point of bouldering, that's the point of climbing. It's to, for me, it's to have fun and enjoy your progress. So part of being patient is getting to know your strengths and your weaknesses. The more you climb, the more you'll know which moves you'll be more comfortable with. And eventually, you'll just um, enjoy your own pace and enjoy your progress, enjoy every attempt.
super happy ako na flash ko siya. Tapos uh, kinakabahan ako kasi overhang. Hindi ako sanay. Usually di ako sanay sa overhang. Pero super fun siya. Ganda ng holds. Hi guys! So yung bagong set sa compo, super okay siya. You get to learn a lot of moves. Actually, usually, ang intimidating tignan kasi um, ang daming strong climbers na nag-climb sa comp wall. Tapos overhang lahat. But just give it a try. Yeah, You'll like, learn something new. Uh, like what Mia did, di ba? Uh -huh. Nagulat, di ba? Na-flash yung yellow. Yeah, eh. may na-flash akong V4 today. Yeah, Pero yung isang V4, di ko pa nagawa. Balikan ko na lang siya. Uh, okay, so guys, kung tayo dito sa Beehive, no, don't hesitate to say hi to Mia. Yeah. Punta kayo niya sa gym. Uh -huh. If you are new to climbing or if you just want to try it out, my advice is just try it out. Try it out more than once because you're not going to see progress, you're not going to enjoy um, discovering things that your body can do in just one session. So give it a few more tries and don't worry about feeling intimidated at first because eventually, I assure you, you'll feel that there's a whole community to back you up. Thank you so much, Bea, for this episode. Yeah, I really enjoyed uh, today's video. Grab your answers, ni Bea. Super encouraging. Guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. To the wall, you and I, I know can face it all. Oh, yeah. With the wind in your hair, take control and take us in.